So we are going to continue with the next topic that is oxidation and reduction reactions in the same chapter that is chemical equations and calculations. So here if we continue that is oxidation and uh, reduction the simple difference between oxidation and reduction is in the simple terms any element if it is participating in oxidation the meaning of oxidation is that is addition of addition of oxygen the first important meaning of oxidation is addition of oxygen and uh, we can also say removal of removal of hydrogen so in oxidation if it is addition of oxygen and uh, removal of hydrogen then in reduction it is quite the opposite that is addition of addition of hydrogen addition of hydrogen addition of hydrogen and uh, removal of oxygen we can also term this oxidation and reduction also in simple terms as removal of electrons removal of electrons removal of electrons is also oxidation then uh, addition of electrons addition of electrons is reduction so here to justify all these three statements in uh, oxidation as well as in the case of reduction let us justify our statements with the appropriate examples if we take examples according to the first statement we are saying addition of oxygen when you say addition of oxygen you take any element you take any element you take copper as an element it's a solid because addition of oxygen is oxidation so copper plus oxygen gas gives rise to that is cupric oxide that is solid in this reaction where we are very able to very clearly able to understand that when an element that is here it is metal uh, when, when a metal in the form of element when it is reacting with oxygen that means we are adding oxygen to an element to give an element oxide or metal oxide so cupric oxide is metal oxide metal reacts with oxygen to give metal oxide copper reacts with oxygen gas to give cupric oxide because we are adding oxygen to a given metal the process is oxidation similarly if you go for reduction take the same element copper here also that is in the case of example in the case of reduction as an example you can take same copper as an element take same copper as an element that is solid and here you add because addition of hydrogen is reduction copper plus hydrogen gives rise to cupric hydride cupric hydride which is a solid metal hydride because addition of hydrogen addition of hydrogen to given element is reduction so hydrogen reacts with metal to give metal hydride that is cupric hydride this is one one way of understanding the example for the first statement in oxidation as well as reduction we are saying removal of hydrogen in the case of oxy, uh, oxidation and removal of oxygen in the case of reduction so one more example we'll take to justify the second statement we can take because we are saying removal of because we are saying removal of hydrogen if you say removal of hydrogen say for example i am taking if you want to remove the hydrogen then you take cupric hydride take that cupric hydride here cupric hydride if you take the solid okay for this cupric hydride again if you pass oxygen gas you get metal solid plus water metal solid plus water so here 
if you take that is if you are that means here we have successfully removed the hydrogen in the form of water in the oxidation so second statement is justified now here we are saying removal of oxygen removal of oxygen means you can take one example suppose i am taking cupric oxide take this cupric oxide here cupric oxide solid okay and because you want to remove oxygen you have to pass hydrogen gas so here oxygen is removed in the form of water so the metal oxide is getting reduced to metal solid and uh, it is getting converted to water as a liquid here also water is a liquid so here we are successfully removing hydrogen in the form of water in the case of oxidation by adding oxygen and here we are successfully here we are successfully removing oxygen from the metal oxide by adding hydrogen so here oxygen is removed in the form of water and here hydrogen is removed in the form of water in the oxidation hydrogen is removed in the form of water in reduction oxygen is removed in the form of water by adding hydrogen so we are not changing the rules of the oxidation as well as reduction so first statement second statement in both oxidation and reduction has been justified now removal of electrons and addition of electrons removal of electrons in the case of oxidation addition of electrons in the case of reduction so that also we have to give justification removal of electrons means take an element sodium you take an element sodium this sodium contains sodium atomic number is 11 this sodium as a metal all metals contains less number of valence electrons in the outermost orbit sodium is having only one valence electron in the outermost orbit two first orbit two electrons second orbit eight electrons and in the last orbit sodium is having only one electron so this one electron in sodium okay it participates in the removal of electrons to satisfy the condition oxidation so therefore this sodium by losing one valence electron it acquires one unit of positive charge by losing one electron sodium acquires one unit of positive charge thus that lost electron is shown on the same side of the reaction that is on the product side from this reaction it is very clearly understood that during oxidation element always loses an electron if an element is losing an electron whatever the number of electrons that element is losing that many number of positive charges that element is going to acquire the attainment of positive charge by an element the attainment of positive charge by an element we call it as the cation here sodium cation is formed to satisfy the condition of reduction during addition of electrons just to reverse this reaction if you reverse this reaction automatically the condition of reduction is satisfied saying addition of electrons when you are saying addition of electrons you need you need to take the cation that is sodium cation carrying one unit of positive charge it will gain one electron because we are saying addition of electrons in a plus ion sodium cation gains one electron and it forms neutral sodium metal so therefore here by this examples the last statement in both oxidation and reduction is satisfied in the oxidation electrons are lost so in the oxidation we are calling removal of electrons in the reduction electrons are gained electrons are gained by the ion so that's why we are calling it as addition of electrons so in reduction an ion is getting converted to an element and in oxidation an element is getting converted to ion by loss of electrons so therefore the condition of oxidation as well as reduction is satisfied effectively by following the three important statements